Good morning, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 20. So, as you can see, we're in Becky, my car this morning, and that's because I need to move my car for street cleaning and yeah, yeah, that's just that's a new, it. that's just a New York <laughs> thing. So, like, you have to switch your car to the other side of the street, so or you don't like get drive it, it and then find another parking spot, which is what we're gonna do because we need a few things. So we're gonna go get some tissues. Still no COVID, so she just has a cold, but she needs tissues, and Shanna never gets sick, so this is like the weirdest thing ever. Gabby just said this is the sickest I've been in our whole relationship, and we've been together for seven years. I think so. I think you're more sick than when you had COVID, when you were only sick for a day, which is so which is so weird. So really I feel funny. like the regular cold went and got you. Yes, and then can I have one of the um, toasted white chocolate chai lattes? Sure, uh, chai latte with chocolate medium. Um, can I have it small and also with almond milk? Oh, yes, please. Thank you. So for once, instead of going to Starbucks, we went to Dunkin' because Dunkin' Starbucks wouldn't let us like do the mobile order. So we were like, we're going to do the only Dunkin' drive through by us. But we got the festive coffees, which neither of us have tried yet. Which did you get? I got the chai latte. It's really good. Yeah. It's a little sweet, but good. And I got the cookie butter cold brew, which looks insane. Look like, at the top what? of that. Try it. That's so good. <laughs> it's more like a dessert, though. <laughs> But I'm not mad about it today. I'm like, this is exactly what I want. I am now sitting in the car and I am waiting for Gabby because if you remember a few vlogs ago, we like got rid of or not got rid of, we were like putting clothes to donate or to sell to the thrift store into bags. So today we finally went to a thrift store to try and sell some of that stuff. But I think we've said this before in our videos, whenever we go to this thrift store, it's in a neighborhood where there's no parking. So I can never park my car, but the only way to get all of that bags and bags of clothes that we're trying to sell is to take my car. So I always have to like park in like illegal spots. So right now I'm like parked in front of a fire hydrant. And I'm sitting in the car in case like a policeman comes because then I can leave. Uh, but usually no one comes. And I have like my flashers on so it's like I'm not going to be here that long. So Gabby's inside trying to sell our clothes. And I am sitting in the car waiting for her. And hopefully it doesn't take too long. But um, there's actually a lot of traffic today. I guess because it's like the holidays and stuff. But um, yeah. So that's what we're doing right now. I'm sitting in the car listening to my music and waiting for Gabby to text me updates on what they buy and don't buy. So I just got back from selling our stuff at Buffalo Exchange and we actually did really good. We didn't sell everything, but like we sold enough that uh, we definitely have some store credit for Buffalo Exchange yeah, now. Yeah, we sold what, like almost $300. Yeah, almost. We've gotten really good at selling our stuff to Buffalo Exchange. We like know now, I feel like how to do it, like how to like give them the items that they're looking for for the season and make sure like we don't put anything with stains in, you know, et cetera, et cetera, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, moral of the story is we did sell stuff, so that was a success. And then the rest we're just going to drop off to like a donation bin for like a clothing donation. So that way everything that we did like and got rid of in our closet clean out goes to like a good place or like a new home. So love to do that. Success. Not to mention now we have store credit and when we need something, we can actually shop there to get new things instead of shopping at like a retail store. So success. 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 Um, time to go home now because we're hungry and we're finally going to park the car in the correct spot. Okay, so we just got home, but does anyone else's cat do this with carrots? Like, he why? Loves. I mean, Gabby was saying it's like he's high on carrots. <laughs> he loves them. Every time you bring carrots, he does this. He starts rolling around near the carrots. Yeah, I'll push them closer and to you, bud. Them and licking them. <laughs> why does he do this? All right, so we just got home and there was a package downstairs and it was from one of my friends from home and she actually made us vegan cookies freshly baked because she has like her own like bake, I don't know, business I guess you could say. Like she has her own business where she bakes like cakes and cookies for people and she knew that Gabby and I were vegan and she made us these vegan cookies. 
How cool. Also, if you live in the New York area, uh, her Instagram is at Basler Bakes. So They're you should go gorgeous. follow her. And if you have an event, you can hire her to make some something. I can't wait to eat these. These look these amazing. Look so good. Best Thank you, Allie. Ever. Especially Shanna, not feeling so good today. I feel like cookies on the couch. Perfect. Sounds Shana. perfect. Um, it's a little later and we just had lunch. Shanna is resting up. And I'm gonna try one of these cookies because they look so good. And honestly, I already, oh. I already, honestly, I already ate one, but I want to try another because one of the ones that I gave Shanna looks so good. Oh my god. These are like the best vegan cookies ever. I'm obsessed. It's going to be hard for me not to like steal these from the kitchen all day long. So if you look behind me right now, you can see that there are about 10 million dishes that need to be done. That is what happens when you host at your house. I always forget but it's fine because hosting people at your house is so worth it. I just love when people come over, it's so much fun, but now I gotta clean all of this up because there's even more like garbage and like plates on this table. We did not feel like doing it last night, so I was like, leave this for tomorrow. Okay, that was honestly so much, but I did it. Literally dishes everywhere until they dry. So it is much later now. It's almost seven. Um, obviously, changed into the Hanukkah pajamas. Shanna did too. She was relaxing a little bit and I was playing some video games. But now it is almost dinner time. So I think that I'm going to try and make us some matzo ball soup. I kind of bought like a matzo ball mix when we were at Target today grabbing like tissues and some other necessities. But um, yeah, I'm going to try it. I've made it before, but it never really comes out good when I veganize it. But Maybe today is the day, I guess we'll see, testing it out. And I'm gonna try it with just egg this time and see if that works because the last time I made it, we didn't know what just egg was, so it definitely did not work. So keep you posted. Either we will be having matzo ball soup for dinner or we will be having soup with grains in it, which would be the mushy matzo balls that didn't work. Um, also, I just wanna say these Hanukkah pajamas. Ah, I love them so much, they're amazing. I just don't. I just don't even know how to describe it. They're so comfy and it's just so cute. Oh. Gabby thinks she may have gotten the matzo balls to work. Maybe, we'll see after it simmers in here for 20 minutes if that is accurate or not. It takes a lot of time to have soup on. I'm rolling my ball right now. But anyway, hello everyone. Um, I'm back on the vlog. I was, I took a little nap because I took like a medication for my cold and it was drowsy medication and I knew it was gonna be drowsy so I was like, I'm not gonna take it until um, I'm home, so I took a one when we got back and I took a little nap and now I feel good feeling better I just edited um, The vlog that you would have seen yesterday um, A little bit later in the day usually I post them at like 12 noon But this one I'm posting now it's like almost seven o'clock, but whatever you'll get to see it. And it was a really really fun one It was because it was our first night of Hanukkah. So if you haven't seen that one yet um, go check it out, but yeah, now Gabby's making matzo ball soup, then we're gonna light the menorah, and then I'm gonna give Gabby one of her Hanukkah presents. All right, Gabby's going to light the menorah for night two. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Baruch Atah, Adonai, Eloheinu, Melech Ka'olam, Asher Kedishanu, B'mitzvot Tov, Vitzivanu, L'Hadlichner, Sher Hanukkah. Yay! And there it is. Gotta so squeeze this one in really good. So if you don't know, you're supposed to say that prayer when you light the menorah, right? Yeah. <laughs> So you say it every night. And this is night two of Hanukkah, baby. Night two of Hanukkah, baby. I'm gonna let Gabby pick which Hanukkah present she wants. And it's easy because I wrapped all of her Hanukkah presents. I want this one. Okay, in Hanukkah <laughs> paper, I was gonna say. I knew I wanted this one from the beginning. Why, why did you choose it? Let the people know. It's a nice size. Okay. And Rascal kept trying to eat it and knocking it over, so I figured, better now. <laughs> <laughs> I figured that was a sign. To my little Maccabee, who loves Shani. <laughs> can I open it? Yeah. What is it? Should I'm I guess? I'm telling you. Okay, you can guess. Socks. Okay. Not socks. Glasses? I love these. <laughs> sunglasses. I love sunglasses. Are they cool? Do I look cool? You're gonna love them. Let me go look in the mirror. <laughs> Three people sunglasses. I love them! 
I do love them. I love them a lot. So Gabby loves fun sunglasses. She probably has about 20 pairs. I love them though. I like wearing fun sunglasses. And I need to wear sunglasses like all the time because my eyes are super sensitive. So like in the sun, I'm always like, damn, I need glasses. So if you're gonna have an accessory that you have to wear, you might as well have lots of options, right? Agree. Um, and Shanna got me my favorite ones. I love the Free People sunglasses. They're just so nice and like, I feel fancy. People, I think we're calling this a matzo ball success. Yeah, that's a pretty good success. Like it kind of worked. They're not really falling apart. Like they definitely are like look looser than when you make them not vegan and you're using real egg, but the just egg definitely held them together. Just I'm the egg has saved our lives during Hanukkah. Yeah, it really helped. The matzo ball soup it is. How, how would it not taste good? I don't know. You it's have to tell me. It's gonna taste great. You can tell me later if it tasted good or not. Okay. <laughs> we are going to eat our soup and watch this Hanukkah movie that's on Peacock because we have Peacock and Peacock now has Hallmark and Hallmark has this Hanukkah movie. That's the long drawn out version of that. So we're gonna watch it. It's called Hanukkah on Ryan. I'm sure it'll be super cheesy, but honestly, happy to see a Hanukkah movie that we can watch on Hanukkah. That's pretty fun. Um, that movie on on Hallmark or Peacock or wherever you're watching it was also Hanagan, super cute. Hanagan on Rye was so cute. Yeah, like I liked it. It was cheesy, but it was also like funny and there was a lot of like grandma stuff and that was super funny. Matzo ball soup was a success. That was delicious. So yummy. I would definitely make that again and not just for Hanukkah, just for like any day. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to end today's Vlogmas video here. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe because we have a really fun day tomorrow and we'll see you soon with another video. Bye. Bye.